Hello everyone, we're at the CCPCJ Social Media Zone and joining me are Cesar Guedes and Ihsan Ghani. Welcome. Thank Cesar, you. let's start with you. Why are you here at the CCPCJ and what are you hoping to achieve this week? Well, um, thank you Ezra. I, I'm here at CCPCJ uh, this time, the first time uh, for you know, DC Pakistan to participate. Uh, and it is meaningful in this occasion because we are bringing a very high level delegation chaired by Mr. Isan Ghani, the head of the National Counterterrorism Authority of Pakistan, uh, with uh, uh, other uh, institutions like Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of, of Law and Justice. In, in this respect, uh, we are going to uh, present the work that we are doing together, specifically our recently launched project, uh, PACT, which is uh, Pakistan's action on counterterrorism, which is supported by the European Union, and uh, it is uh, doing remarkably well. But very important also the remarkable efforts of Pakistan in uh, achieving concrete results in combating terrorism in the country. Thank you. Uh, now turning to you, uh, what are the major challenges faced in Pakistan and what are the steps taken by the government and the National Counterterrorism Authority? Thank you so much for inviting me to your uh, uh, press room um, and thank you UNODC for giving me this opportunity to be here um, in Vienna to talk about what we are doing and what we plan to do in Pakistan in countering terrorism and extremism. As you know, um, Pakistan has faced um, many challenges during the last almost four decades. Uh, started with the Cold War and then the Soviet invasion and the Afghan war and then the war on terror. Um, so a lot has happened in Pakistan in the last uh, 40 years, <clears throat> but we have responded to those challenges. Um, we have enacted laws, uh, legislations. Uh, we have also uh, rendered great sacrifices. Um, thousands of uh, citizen um, law enforcement agencies um, have uh, given their lives for this. Um, let me just uh, give you um, brief figures. In 2010, there were, in Pakistan, there were over 2,000 attacks, terrorist attacks. Last year, 2017, we had um, about 700 attacks. So there's a drastic reduction in the number of attacks. And these have been possible only because of Pakistan's um, efforts. Now, two things I thought were extremely important in countering terrorism in Pakistan. One was to stop recruitment for militant and terrorist organizations. And second was to choke financing for these. So we embarked upon and we uh, formulated national counter extremism policy guidelines with the purpose to, s to change the mindset of the people and to stop recruitment for these terrorist organizations. The second was um, a number of steps taken by the government of Pakistan and by NACTA to choke financing for terrorism. And we are extremely grateful to UNODC for its complete support, especially the rule of law and criminal justice system reforms were um, being implemented. And PACT is a milestone project which we started um, and is um, now in progress. And we are planning to take our efforts even further. Uh, more collaboration with UNDC and a number of other um, international partners who are going to help us in um, countering terrorism. More importantly, countering extremism because we feel in Pakistan that uh, countering terrorism is extremely important, but till such time we do not address the issue of extremism and intolerance from our society, we will continue having uh, terrorism issues. So it is important that we stop financing for these organizations and we stop recruitment for them. Thank you very much. You. Turning back to you, Cesar, again. What is UNODC's role in countering terrorism? Can you give us like some examples from Pakistan, maybe? Well, uh, UNODC has uh, uh, the mandate to assist member states in, number one, uh, awareness raising and the ratification of the universal instruments on counterterrorism. Also uh, provides uh, legislative assistance to its member states. Uh, it's also involved in the capacity building of investigators, prosecutors, and the judiciary. And uh, finally, also in strengthening international uh, cooperation in criminal matters related to uh, counter-terrorism. Uh, 
Specifically in Pakistan, UNODC is working closely with NACTA at the federal level on these topics and also with the counterterrorism departments at the provincial level. So uh, we are uh, already one year on board in these uh, activities and the project is uh, expanding. We, we owe this to the, the resolve of Pakistan and, and also the support that we are receiving from uh, uh, partners such as the European Union and most recently the governments of uh, uh, Canada and Japan. Thank you very much for joining us. Um, hope to see you soon again. Thank you, Thank you so Ezra. Much. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Ghani.